Welcome to Bonehead. My name is Joe Lewis. I don't know why I say this every single time. People obviously are tuning in know who I am. Yeah, and I'm, I refuse to say my name, so I'm just going to keep Yeah, going. Dog Butters keeps calling me a tater tod. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Why don't you go with James Thomas? Talk to me why? about the science of pickling cucumbers. The sodium. <laughs> anyway, so first of the episode, the, the sodium first... makes it all rubbery. <laughs> I have Partially. got to get out people. Uh, shit, <laughs> you got to get. <laughs> you had to get out people. The door back there. Open it up. <laughs> Go in. Anyway, all let right. the magic happen. Folks. Why don't you have some fiber? <laughs> That does, would he help. Need a, does he need it, one of them squatty potties? <laughs> That's right, squatty, squatty potty. potty. You can sponsor the hell out of this. Yeah, show. Bonehead would more than love the squatty potty sponsor. We'll sit here and actually do a podcast while, while we have our feet up. Whilst we sit on the squatty <laughs> potty. You know, yes. hold on. It's not the salt, because if you put salt on something, it shrivels it up. How does that make it... If what you are you talking slugs? about? He says the whole point of pickling is putting salt on things. Well, salt is a key ingredient. Why is your arm around him? Because I love him. Anyway, the adult. thing I want you all to remember, and I got to get this out because we've talked about this. <laughs> He's got to get it out. <laughs> Squatty Potty sponsored. We appreciate you watching this on Facebook video, but what we really need you to do is go to iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube, and rate us on all of those. And please check us out and watch us on those and listen to us. Why on did those. you tell us you were going to say something important? I would have stopped, stopped interrupting. Because you would ago. not have said. You would have. <laughs> yes. Now I'm so aggravated that I can't even <laughs> talk. Leave. Oh, wow. I finally win. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now he doesn't. Leave, no, you, leave, what oh were you God. saying? Yeah, go. Leave comments. Ah! Do all that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. And also, this this will air after we finish Scarefest. So thank you for coming up to Scarefest and seeing us. We and appreciate it. it. It was that one guy that wouldn't shut up. Thank you so much. <laughs> this hasn't happened yet. No, I'm sorry. By I'm the way, sorry that you, I traumatized you with my tattoo on my butt of Pia Zadora. It was unintentional. He mm. loves Santa Claus Conquered the Martians. Um, but the, the entire point being, though, is if we didn't show up to Scarefest, and this is now found later on, send out a search party. party. What's wrong where, with where, you where people? Where were you? What? I don't understand. But, I thought you were fans. You're not trying to find us? <laughs> but, but yes, please go to iTunes, SoundCloud, or YouTube to watch our video, or to watch this. And leave comments. And leave if, comments, rank us. If, if you think we suck... That's fine. Leave the comment. I will just keep that watching. They all suck. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, thanks for coming to Scarefest and saying hi to us. And if you didn't go, drop dead. No, come next year. Come next year. Okay. God, will, <laughs> God willing, the creek don't rise. We'll be back. But if we're not, don't come. Don't come. Unless the boneheads are there. Anyway, we're joking about that. So our episode today is going to be another one of those controversial topics. That is TV shows that are considered classics. That we think are crap. Yes, we're overrated. Over rehashing another a topic. Oh from, my god! We're only on episode thirteen, and we're already well, rehashing. Let's go back we, to we, the well for the fourteenth time. <laughs> well, no, no. We have talked about films. We have not talked about TV. Now we did talk about TV that was canceled too. Yes. yes, yes. So this is the counteract to that. Things that got more seasons than it should have sure. ever got. Yeah, and most like, of them should have got. Zero. And it's not that we're... I shouldn't have said crap. It's just overrated. Because some of the shows that we're going to talk about, there are actually... In my instance, there are episodes that I like. There are episodes... There, there, it's just... As a whole... What do you think it, about it, the anus as a whole? What? Your anus <laughs> is a what? Is a nice planet to visit. To quote Austin Powers, on the whole, Preparation H feels good. Why does Spot have to do that? Why does he... Why are you stealing other people's jokes? And why are you moving your mouth I, at the same time I, as Spot? You're a horrible I, puppeteer. I thought we should do something that shows some talent, so I had to quote... Well, obviously else. we'll need to bring in someone else to do that. I quoted Austin Powers. That made money. Yeah. Yes, it did. That's true. That's more than we've done. Anyway, well, the thing is that I'm going to do two shows and talk about them. I actually really like them, but I have to admit they're overrated. All right. I'm going to talk about what I despise. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Who wants to get started? I'm, I'm going to let James go. You want to go with your first one? 
Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go, and, and I don't know if there's anybody that's a rabid fan of this, and if you are... Does uh, that mean they're foaming at the mouth? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If this is the only thing that makes you delay your rabies treatment, and you're that rabid of a fan, uh, the Brady Bunch. Uh, I hate but, the Brady Bunch. But oh. see, I put the Brady Bunch in the fact that, and we were talking about this before the episode, I put the Brady Bunch in the... It's it's a pile of shit, right? Yeah. So it there's sucks. Not, there's, there's nothing, nothing good redeeming about, it. about that show. But neither was there anything redeeming about TGI of Friday, and I'm actually throwing all of them in there. You Full can, House. What else? Dinosaurs was canceled too soon. Family. Uh, what is it? Everybody family Ties. But people, family Ties wasn't well, not TV Family Ties. What was the Family, family Matters? Family Matters. Oh, Jesus. Which like, was like the there spin-off? was a huge damn difference. Which was a spinoff of Perfect Strangers, which was also part of TGI Friday. All right. So most of that crap sucks. Step by Step, Full House. If you watch no, Full you House. Don't you miss Patrick Duffy? Yeah. Oh, or God, what's his terrible. name? The, the guy, kickboxer guy. That's what I told him the other day, and he kept referring I, to Suzanne Summers. I was like, Suzanne Summers and Patrick Duffy, and he kept going, no, 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 Kickboxer. 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 He was in the Kickboxer film. Nobody the Kickboxer 2 through 4. Well, Not yeah. Not the first one. But when you replace Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> when you t- take the gestalt of the kickboxer You film, don't even know what that means. That means when something is bigger than... I don't even know what that means. Okay. Let me rephrase. Um, anyway. But no. most of those shows suck, and that's the reason why I'm not tackling Well, them. here's the Brady reason, Bunch though. The Brady Bunch came... Everybody said, well, it's old, it's a classic, it's all... Just because something is old doesn't mean it's classic. Yeah. No, man, and the thing My we, grandmother was old, but she was not a classic by any means. Of the word. <laughs> no, but she was uh, a hot piece of ass. <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, yeah, if that's your thing. If stupid old ladies is your thing, go for it. But um, the. Uh, Joe loves the smell of ditch cream in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically on special parts of my body. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do I go back to the Brady Bunch? Like I don't that? know. Just like this. Well, here's the thing about the Brady Bunch. That He's glad been... Florence Henderson is dead. You, 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 smell, that, you smell that denture creep? <laughs> <laughs> the thing about work, that, that with this show has went off the rails before it ever started. Uh, um, we had a complaint about it the other day, but keep going. Well, the, the thing about uh, the Brady Bunch, that people are like, well, it's a classic, it's old, it's all that. The thing about it is, uh, Robert Reed, who played the father, yes. um, hated the show. Yes. And the funny part about it was he was promised that it was going to be something that would actually change television. He was told it would actually deal <laughs> really? with... Really? Yes. He was told it would deal with modern family problems. Like modern and, family. Yes. Or like all in the family that came out not too long after it. And that's what he was promised. That's why he agreed with Schwartzman who... Um, is it? Is it? Or... Oh. Um, now it's not Sydney Sheldon. Sydney Sheldon no, created like was, the Beverly Hillbillies. It's something and, like Sal. Uh, I want to say Salazar because it sounds like a villain, but yes. his last name was Salazar. But anyway, uh, Schwarzman and Schwarzman promised him that he agreed to do it based on that, and then he stuck around because he liked the kids. That's what he, <laughs> he actually said later on. Um, he but liked the, the kids. Uh, but what was funny about it was he's not in the last episode of the show, but he was on set, and they almost had security escort him out. Huh. Because he thought the last episode that they filmed was dumb, and he was so glad when he didn't get renewed for a sixth season. But the funny part Hold about on, it... Hold on, real quick. It only lasted five seasons? Five seasons. And I then thought it was on a lot longer than that. Mm-hmm. It's been off variety Didn't you check? Like that. No, I knew it was... I, knew it was, I actually thought it was four seasons. No, it made it five. Oh. But here's the funny part about the The other and part about that later. was he didn't want to do it, but he did it because he was told that it would deal with something, and he thought that was relevant. Do you know who actually actively campaigned for the role of Mike Brady? I did not know this. I learned this. A man that did not return to another show called Jeffrey Hunter. Oh. Wanted to play the role of Mike Brady so bad. And Schwartzman, who was the showrunner on the Brady Bunch, said, We can't do it. He's just too handsome. Please explain to Jeffrey Hunter. Jeffrey Hunter would have been... I thought Jeffrey Hunter was dead by that time. Not when it was being cast. Really? When it was being cast, it was still... And the other part about this is the reason so many people, and I know what I said, there's some people that love the Brady Bunch, but it was also, it got sued, and it got, uh, the, he, Schwarzman was able to prove, actually I started this before it came out, but yours, mine, and ours was going to take it to court, oh. saying that it was derivative of their That's work. A hit, which is a movie, but it's a, there's a remake with Dennis, we, um, Dennis Weaver. <laughs> Dennis Hopper is what I was going to say. I was going to say Dennis Hopper. Uh, Dennis Rodman. Uh, <laughs> What the hell is Dennis's last name? Karina? 
Dennis no! Quaid? Dennis Quaid? I don't know. Dennis Quaid, yeah. yeah. There's a remake, but the original was Henry oh, Fonda and, and Lucille Ball. Ball. Lucille Ball, anyway. But no, so, to, but real quick, explain who Jeffrey Hunter is. Yeah, like, Jeffrey please. Hunter was uh, it's a bit of an obscure best movie. known uh, for most people for being Jesus, but he was... Not the, the real one. He was the original captain of the Enterprise, kept played Captain Pike on Star Trek. And when they rebooted it, they went with this young upstart, William Shatner. Um, and that's not even where I knew him from. Growing up, I knew Westerns. him. I knew him from West because yeah. he's in one of the greatest westerns Searchers. of all time. He's in this. Uh, yes, I was going to say The Searchers, directed by John Ford. Before you stole my thunder, Sorry, John Wayne. Hmm. <sighs> anyway, you know that, Joe. <laughs> so Jeff- I don't know why I didn't know that. <laughs> well, why? I just figured you couldn't remember names earlier. I was afraid you'd forget the. Searchers. I couldn't remember Dennis Weaver. <laughs> Via he Dennis does, Quaid. however, remember bowl weevils. I don't know why. <laughs> Via Quaid. Dennis Quaid. Anyway, the the so the other part about that. So the, that entire show has this long history of just weird stuff. But the reason I have to include it as a sitcom that some people like, or a show that some people is beloved, or is ever, is because I can't remember one episode that is of note. As a matter of fact, preparing for this, I tried to go back and think of. What's one episode? I know when they added characters like Cousin Oliver, but I can't. About, you really can't remember where Marsha busted. That's what I'm uh, looking. Marsha, yeah, Marsha busted. I'm pointing her nose. at my nose. That my nose that looks like a what? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. But, yeah, uh, but again, that episode. <laughs> I was is, setting up for a joke and he that, didn't do it. But I, th- that joke. <laughs> that, joke? That, that joke. 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 That show is awful. It's got awful. No, the, even the one where she hits her nose. It's awful. Yeah, I agree. But no. um... And, you know, I, I mean, I'm, honestly, I haven't seen two two before. two things about Brady. One about your argument about TGF Friday. There piss could be it. the argument that yeah, piss on it. <laughs> With the exception of dinosaurs, all the shows were awful. Um, perfect strangers part TGF. Oh, Friday. oh geez, perfect, crazy. Crazy. perfect strangers. Would you all amazing. please stop blowing Bronson Penn show? I, sir. He is an American treasure, and is it the other guy? I don't. Remember he's in one of the. He's one of one of my favorite comedy and yours. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's in My Favorite Year, yeah. which um, is a great movie. But anyway, Check it out. No, so the one that people still talk about, Brady Bunch, to this day. I don't know. Who talks about Step by Step? Haley. <laughs> no, Joe and I in our office. Haley is shaking her head no. But no Haley's um, too young to remember. Uh, it's Anyway, mm-hmm. but, but Brady Bunch. She's doing this. But Brady Bunch is one of those shows, and it still gets, it's still being aired today. Is and it really? It, yeah, I guess that's true. It's TV though. Land or it's whatever TV that show's Land. called. Well, TV and people, me TV, me TV for the you. ancient, and we still see it because yeah, because Barry Williams does promos for it every freaking more every well, day. But and I was gonna say, and things still allude to it. Yeah. No, nope, very rarely do things allude to step by step, but tons of things it's still make. Dude, it actually. got two movies, not yeah. just one. It got two, and movies. it got and it got a spinoff in the eighties for a TV show called The Brady Kids. Yep, right. oh, they, they were they married, are? and one of them was And the TV movies, yeah. Yeah. and there were TV movies, too. Yeah. Yeah. But then there was two theatrical films later on. Well, and that was and those, show, and those movies, though, they were made as a direct parody of I the TV agree, show. I agree, but I'm just saying it got it was it had enough cultural <sighs> relevance that later on we would see not one, but two damn movies made but out God, of it. But God, the show was awful. It's almost it's unwatchable for me. And the, the, the flip side of that, yeah. too, though, is that... it. it I think that those also came at a time when we were just, and when I say we, I wasn't involved, but when Hollywood was just mining, hey, look, it was an old show that a few people remember. Let's go ahead and make a movie. Well, yeah, they'd done that with the Adams Family. They'd done Lost that with Beverly space. Hillbillies, Lost in Space. I mean, I mean it's, they've done it with a bunch. And I can't wait till they make Bonehead the movie. <laughs> the thing is, with, I'll get recast. Here's another one, uh, and I'm not going to piss on it, but Dragnet is probably one of those shows that's way too square, yeah. right? But when you watch old Dragnet episodes, you can see Harry Morgan trying not to laugh, and it's hilarious. Oh okay. yeah, uh, what an episode! So, but there's nothing like that in the Brady Bunch. No, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. Well, and the, and Dragnet. That's why I had to start with the Brady Bunch, and that's the one that's burnt into my memory that I have to go for because Dragnet. I can tell you episodes. Yeah, I, I would like drug episodes of the well, Blue Boy. Blue Boy. Everybody LSD. Everybody remember the Blue Boy. I, and if you've seen Oddly it, enough, there was a guy that that lived next to my dad's garage named Blue Boy. Blue Boy, yeah, <laughs> that's what I think about. Yeah, but, <laughs> sorry. But anyway, I, I, you go back to that, and you can see these episodes that are these shows that I can actually go. Oh, I remember an episode or two. The Brady Bunch, even the Nose episode. I know that scene. 
Yeah, I don't remember. But anything. I can't tell you how it resolved. I can't tell you. Didn't Google. they go to Hawaii once? What yeah, I was going to say, that's the other thing. And then thing. they got locked up in an old West town. They got no, locked up I was going to say, that, that was the other thing. The, the other thing I was going to bring up was every season after the first one started with a movie. Oh, really? It was a oh. three-episode arc. Hawaii, the jail one. And the only other thing that's memorable about those is they would do weird, stupid cameos. Vincent Price, I think, is in a, the Hawaii one. Well, in all fairness, Vincent Paris. Price would do anything for anything a buck. Anything for, for a Star buck. Trek. Except for Star Trek. Done one episode of Star Why did he Trek. not do Star Trek? I don't know. Probably was not offered. Probably, yeah. Jim Roddenberry's a cheap I Actually, I was yeah, say, it was a cheap son of a bitch. Episode, there is the episode where the, with the kids, and it's Gene Roddenberry's attorney. <laughs> plays the role because he said he really wanted to do it and they didn't have to pay it. Yeah, no, that, it but, was a cheap. I mean, say what you will, but Gene Roddenberry was one, a one cheap aspect, son of a bitch. And I, yeah, again, I, mean, I don't think any, anybody at this love table. To him. He, yeah. he created something I love, but yeah. I don't think anybody at this table can even tell know this trivia piece because I mean, we we didn't research this because we just want to talk. What the hell happened to the 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 other each one significant other? I, oh, I don't know. That was actually that. There's one episode. It is implied that was one of the things that as I read through the trivia. Because I was trying to think, am I just being cynical? Am I not finding something? There's two things about it. It was one of the first shows that showed a lot of bathroom scenes, but there's never toilets in the bathroom. Right. Um, but there were always sinks and all that other stuff. Which the movie but, made fun of later. But the fun, the other part about that was, they finally, in the first episode, um, one of the sons is holding a picture of his mom. It's never directly seen on camera. It's, you can tell it's a picture of a woman in a frame. And it's implied that she's widowed. But... Uh, Schwartzman, yeah, Schwartzman wanted to have Carol Brady be divorced, and the network was like, "Well, that's a little risque, don't you think?" Uh, so they didn't want to do it. The so, first one. By the time you get through your third divorce, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> keep so going. They, they yeah. never wanted to actually acknowledge it, and uh, and that that's not something that actually Robert Reed kept going back to, which wasn't his actual name. He hated that name. He said that was one that they made him take on. And he said it was every time they would put it on the screen, he was back. They might as well have said tapioca because it's bland as hell. So they killed, um, they were killed off then. You're saying they killed off? They were widowed? No, no, she was technically. They never addressed it, but she was supposed to be divorced. So his response was, "We're never going to mention what happened to either of them. The only way it's ever implied that he's widowed is the picture that yeah. implied because the the son is sad in the first episode." And has a picture of him. I'm sad talking about this. Because I'm just going to say, it's a, it's, a weird, it's a weird thing in a sitcom to have two, you know, well, people. And, and then all of a sudden, they're all together and everybody's fine with the fact that their original mommy or their original daddy is nowhere in the picture. And then no, they don't there's no reality. There's no reality. No, no there's I mean, none. It is, it is so fake that the, the grass is fake. The grass well, is, yeah. And yeah. that's one of the things about it was in the first episode, the, for the, oh, they're weird and mismatched, is the girls had a cat. The boys had a dog. This is a true story. The cat, the upkeep on a cat, evidently in Hollywood at the time, was more expensive than the upkeep on a dog. So they only had the cat and the pilot, and then the dog was supposed to be a reoccurring character. On the fifth episode, he got loose on the lot and got killed. And <laughs> the reason that dog house, this no, story? No, no, the reason the dog house still stayed... This is supposed to be a comedy. No, <laughs> this is where it gets funny. Was the reason that dog house... The show is? is in... The Holy reason, hell, why didn't you tell me that 12 episodes ago? The reason the doghouse... Because <laughs> you were too busy smelling for denture cream below your pants, you sicko. Mm, Continue. It makes me so, The reason the doghouse so is hot. in every episode that is filmed outside in their backyard yeah. was, A, if you read some biographies, some freaky stuff happened in that doghouse. But the other part of it was there was a light that fell on set, and it burned the fake grass. And Swartzman, much like Roddenberry, was cheap. And he said, we're not replacing this grass. And they were going to remove the doghouse because the dog died. And he went, nope, and picked up the doghouse and put it over the burn mark. And was like, yeah, I'll just take care of that. <laughs> and somebody said on set, we don't have the dog anymore. You said that replacing the dog would be uh, illogical. And he goes, yeah, well, we'll see if anybody notices. The doghouse was on the rest of the series. Some of the actors disappeared, but the doghouse stayed. All right. Oh, have we have we flogged this one long yeah, enough? Yeah, we probably flogged this one. Who wants to go next? I'll go. Because okay. I think mine will be a top quick one. Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, but that... God, that show's awful. It is awful. And, and, people and it's based on the books by what? Who? Laura Ingle Wilder. Laura Ingle Wilder, whatever. Did you like it? 
I, once again, sir, uh, I had to watch a lot. <laughs> you know what, baby? It's right up there with the Waltons for me. Even as a kid, I thought it, they both sucked. Oh, I hated yeah, the Waltons. Know, you know what I actually think about, it, though? It's that family guy that makes fun of it, the one blind daughter, and it has a Michael Landon character yeah. just constantly moving the, the oh, ladder yeah, so yeah, she yeah, falls. Yeah, yeah. I remember the family guy joke about it more than I remember the show. And it, it's forgettable. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's just awful. Neither and one then, of these are controversial, by the way. I'm about to do a controversial No, one. no, there's somebody out there right now that is like, how dare they? Really? There's I, maybe a few that really yeah. like it, Little House on the Prairie. I don't, it was just It was just a stupid show. And then one sh there's one episode that I remember, and I still can't freaking wrap my... It was a two-parter. Ooh. Two-parter. One of them got collar in it. <laughs> You're basically on the mo nose here. <laughs> I, I One of the daughters really... gets really, really sick. Yeah. And Michael Landon can't afford with the medicine. Because he the... hadn't found that stairway yet to, to heaven, heaven where he became an angel. He... So he could fix her. Yeah, that, was in the that, was, that was before he was knock, knock, knocking on, on heaven's door. door. That... Hi, hi. <laughs> Hi, hi, yeah. Literally, we're going to look at the data for this later. It's going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no. So the daughter gets really sick, and he can't he can't cover the cost of the medicine or the doctor or something to cure her. Yeah. So what does he do? He leaves, to how, leaves the house on the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> and goes next door. No, he goes to work on the freaking railroad. So let's, he was working on the railroad all, all the live, live long days. Day. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Could he not hear the whistle blowing way, just let, to pass the, the time, time away? away? Let's not talk about the historical inaccuracies of where everybody on the uh, railroad was working was white as hell. Let's forget about they that. They were? Because I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds a little if white I, washed I white to me. I watched a documentary the other day about how hard it was. I believe it was called Blazing Saddles, <laughs> and it proves that there is. Crackers hard. be cracking. <laughs> Keep going. But, uh, so, what, the logistics of he has his daughter who's deathly ill. He's just going to walk <laughs> to the railroad, which I'm sure is not right over the hill on that friggin' prairie. <laughs> but Prairie's also, expansive. he's gone and has to deal with hardships on the railroad of people dying, of dealing with, with corrupt people who's taking his money while he's trying to earn it. So, this is more than a day. It's more than a day. It's. But they treat it like it's that that quickly, and then he's able to get back and get her the money, and then she's cured. Yeah, I had a problem. I'm just so stupid. I had a problem with the way everybody got back and forth in the last season of Game of Thrones. But yeah, I do yeah. understand what you're saying. Yeah, no, I just and I Westeros in the Wall in one episode. When I still people st when I see people still talking about this this yeah. show, and I'm like, why? And I know it's not. It doesn't hold the cultural significance that is the Brady Bunch. But people consider that a classic. No, and another one, though, because I had to watch a lot of Westerns because my dad loved Westerns. And I don't like Westerns, but I had to watch a lot of Westerns. Yeah, Some of them not so like like Your dad had hat. to wear a Western. If somebody yeah. was wearing a cowboy hat, we'd at least give it about yeah, 20 and minutes. And if, if, it, if it wasn't Briscoe County Jr., I don't think there's been a great TV show Western. And now, now Bonanza, I don't like oh, Bonanza. Oh, no, Bonanza's good. No. Yeah, no, I can't let you be Should I do Bonanza. the theme song? Maybe it's just because you haven't heard the theme song with words. Bonanza! Anyway, go to your one. But bottom. Bonanza is good, but uh, the Big Valley sucks. Uh, you ever seen the Big, Big Valley? Oh my god! I've tried watching. Bonanza. I saw the preview where it was the mid-sized valley, and they were going to expand it. You guys didn't have to suffer like I did as a child. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Was your days filled with Matlock, America's Most Wanted, and Rescue 911? Yeah. That was my it. introduction to Shatner. I had to watch all those shows. Yeah. Yeah. Matlock. Matlock. <laughs> Yeah, I had to watch all those shows. So anyway, when we were talking about this, we were talking about episodes, like I said, I wanted to, I didn't want to, to me it's easy to crap on several of the ones they just said. I'm not knocking them. I agree with them. But the one I want to tackle now may be a little controversial because it's considered by many people as a classic. I, I know what this is. Yeah, you know what it is. This one you do because we talked about it the other day. On TV Guide's best shows, it's ranked 18 out of 50, okay. right? As far as, um, hold on, I'm looking for the other one. It's like number eight out of the Writers Guild a few years ago. Ranked it as number eight out of all shows of all time for writing. Oh, really? Yes. And it's Cheers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. Cheers lasted 11 seasons, 275 episodes. It was created by Glenn and Les Charles and James Burroughs. All those people came from Taxi, by the way. Yes. 
James this is a great show. Far great show. better show than <laughs> we'll Another be believing it's like PG thirteen. We try to usually keep it unless you meet us in public, and then it's much worse, which is, makes no sense. Yeah, by the way, bars. Yeah, basically. But I like Cheers. I wanted to go back and revisit Cheers. I have been DVRing Cheers and watching them later in the week. It comes on me TV or something. I thought you told me that you did not like Cheers at all, period. No, I, I, I like it, but it's not as good as I remember it, and it's overrated as hell. I never did like Cheers. So what you're there are me ep- is... What it is is there's a couple characters I like, right? Uh, I like Norm, Frasier, Frasier Norm. Norm, Cliff. Cliff. You like some of the characters, but a lot of the episodes... Hey, there, Normie. A lot yeah. of the episodes are just... Just, just plain. And that's the only time, honestly, that's the only time, it wasn't even for Frazier, I would mainly watch it for John Ratzenberger. Right, yeah. and I love George Went. George Went, but yeah. But, but jo- John, John Ratzenberger better. The better. thing is, is that I actually think Frasier is a better show. Yes. The spinoff Frasier was a much better show, much better written. It's a superior better show. Yes. Better constructed. Yeah. It is a superior show to no Cheers. No argument. I, I, and I was here's a few weird things. Did you know Fred Dreyer? He's the guy. I had to look him up. You know who Fred Dreyer is? He's a Magnum, not Hunter. Magnum, Hunter. 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 He was actually going to be Sam Malone, and oh, Sam really? Malone was going to be an ex football player. Oh really? And then when they I recast with Ted Danson, Ted Danson, they made him as well. It's more believable if he was the next baseball player. Now the guy that played the coach that owned the bar originally, yeah, he, died. he died. Yeah. And that's, I mean, he didn't get written off he the show. He literally died in real life. Yeah, he didn't get written off the show. He got written off the planet. That's like every day. planet. Somebody, God said, well, we don't need a season four of this cat. Well, that's like the bailiff. I, I think it's, uh, I think his story arc's complete. <laughs> his story said arc God. is complete, said God. <laughs> the ultimate executive producer. <laughs> that's like the bailiff which, on my court, which was, by the way, Marsha Warfield. Thank God. <laughs> You hired two old people who died right off the bat. So that's I true. Marsha Warf- Warfield didn't show up till later in the yeah, show. No, it's because they had the first two people. They had died. I forget about that. We'll, we'll talk the, about Night Quarter. That may be one of the lost treasures, by the way. Oh that God, that and Wings amazing. that I don't think people talk about no. enough. Mm-mm. Anyway, they get back to Cheers. Uh, James Burroughs directed almost 240-some of the 270 episodes of that. James Burroughs would later direct a lot of Will and Grace. Friends. Friends. He not only directed, he... Brought these shows and on the brought, air. And he's one, of, like I said, he's one of the creators, and he worked on Taxi. He's a now, brilliant man. Is he related to Edgar Wright Burroughs? <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> the Steven Spielberg of sitcoms is James Burroughs. Well, okay, so here's another funny bit of trivia. The first season was a failure. It was number 74 out of 77 shows. Did you well, know that? No, yeah. but that's a lot of shows. Yeah, no, the, oh, the whole first season, Chad, it wasn't like it was a half season. It lasted a whole season. The only yeah. reason it stayed on the air was Brandon Tartikoff. And if you're familiar with broadcasting history, he was a big player at NBC, went on to run Paramount later on in the yeah. 80s. He was famous for bringing a lot of shows and creating a lot of different things. was a fan and wanted to keep it and had to fight like hell to keep it on. I like Cheers. I just think it's overrated. I think a lot of the plots are any other sitcom plot. I think we give it a lot of leeway just simply because we enjoy some of those actors as those characters so much. I did not care for Shelley Long. Well, nobody cares for Shelley Long. Nobody cares for Shelley Long later. Yeah. What Shelley Long? What movie? Pick one out. True Beverly Hills. Where shopping is their greatest skill. Skill. Oh, hello again. No, I don't even have to skip a beat. True Beverly Hills. Where shopping is her greatest <laughs> skill. Hello again, that's another terrible movie. The only movie she was ever in that didn't suck is Outrageous Fortune. Do you, dude, seriously? What else? Night Shift. Oh shit, she is in Night Shift. Yeah, I completely forgot yourself. about it. Alright, she's in two movies. <laughs> and Night Shift's better than Outrageous Fortune. I preferred it when Savick showed up. <laughs> <laughs> There's two Star Trek people out there. Oh my god, he made a Kirstie Alley Star Trek oh. reference. Oh, uh, Lieutenant. Really? Lieutenant Savick. Yes, give her proper boy, James. Prop. Give her boy. Prop. No, I, I just saw Wrath of Khan on the big screen, so I had to... Oh, uh, my God. We've only heard about this 15 times, and Shatner introduced it, and they added 30 seconds, and that completely changed the whole meaning of the picture. Please, no, go back and tell us about Tartikoff. Or Tartikoff. Oh, I have sit and listened to your obscure I crap know, for years. I don't even like you. He's going to keep going. We can't stop. Anyway, do you all have an argument against Cheers? I hate Cheers. I don't. I don't, I don't like, hate it. I, and I, I probably like did say I didn't like it the other day, and I've I've really spent a lot of time yeah. thinking about it. It's not that I still it 
It's just not that funny. I d that's the problem. I never laughed. Oh, no. Unless there's some great was... episodes. There's the Thanksgiving one that's that's famous that a lot of people remember. It's called Thanksgiving Orphans, and there's a couple others, but yeah. that's pretty much it. I don't. I just remember watching it as a kid, trying to keep watching it, and then even as a teenager, going back trying to watch it, and I'm like, I'm not laughing other other than when John Ratzenberger said something. Oddly enough, Woody Harrelson says that he and has said this before is he would go if they could get the cast back together, he'd go back and do it again today. That it's his mo that he had never had that much fun. Much fun. I probably, I, it probably was a lot of fun to sit around the bar and do a sitcom and do jokes. I bet we would have had a great time oh, yeah. doing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know that it's that much of a great show, though. And Frasier is far superior. No, the, the, best, uh, the best show that was set at a bar, in my humble opinion, uh, and should have, I would have liked to see it last am as I, long as Cheers. Am I going to have to pull off my, his shoe and throw it at you? I was going to say the George Carlin show. Oh, yeah, oh, the George, yeah, George yeah, Carlin George show. Carlin was, was yeah, yeah okay. you, can't even get, you can't even get it. No. Which George Carlin, Sam Simon and George Carlin fought. Oh, I can imagine. And Sam Simon is well known for fighting with lots of different lots people. Lots of people. And, and by and the way, Sam Simon was one of the creators of The Simpsons. And he's dead now. And he's dead now. And he gave almost all that Simpson money away, whether you love him or hate him. He's actually one of the creators of the Drew Carey show, right? Yep. He's also... But uh, he gave up so much. And, and George Carlin, though, <laughs> that's a joke George Carlin made, though, was I created the show with him and he created my show. And it's called My Show. <laughs> Yeah, get so creative rights to it. Yeah, it, it, Sam Simon though I gave all of his money away to charity. Yep. Yeah, all I mean it. all of it. Yeah, when, when and every time he got a huge check, it went back to charity. Yep. And he didn't give him a guy the props before he went out. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, I mean once he realized he had something terminal, he that was tried it. to make it right. Yeah. So anyway, but yes, we're getting sorry. off topic. The, so, but George Carlin show, as far as the bar setting, I agree though that show gets credit because it created great characters. And it's going back to, and it I'm gave sorry. us. But as far as no, as far as actually, I can remember character interactions. Yes. It, much like the Brady Bunch, you tell me that, that I have to sum up ten episodes. Uh, I can't do it either. I, I can't, can't do, do it either. I know there's a, there's the slapping scene. The only yeah, one, that's another. The only one. one I remember is where Frazier and his wife try to go camping. I don't remember to that rekindle one. their marriage, and it's it's. I mean, it's later in the run, and that's the only one I remember. I remember it's... one where they split up because she has an affair, and he tries to commit suicide. Well, he they end up going camping, and then they get there, and they realize that they're miserable together, but they're also equally miserable camping, and that's the only thing they have in common. So, I mean, that's it. That's the episode. Cheers is done. Like I said, I, it's not that I hate it, but keep on checking it out. we got to get through a few more. What do you got? You go. Okay, because of the time, I'm just going to go jump right to the one that I think everybody's going to hate me for saying. It's ranked as one of the best shows of all time. What is it? Um, it has some. Of the I don't know what this is. It has some of the most memorable know. characters ever in history of television. I don't know. I don't know what this is. is. I'll just. I'll do it like this. Oh, no, you can't hate on Andy Griffith. I am Griffith. crapping on the Andy Griffith. No, 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 I am no, straight up crapping no. on No, we it. even did a skit for the, 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 that know. might have been a ripoff of. I know. Of. But, but I, I didn't write, I didn't, I didn't, that's fine, but the show, the show itself. No. It has, it, it's not can't really. can't follow you there. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. If you think about it, it's not really well, well, well written. <laughs> It's right up there with the Brady Bunch. Everything is so what? generic. Everything's no, so generic. I learned, no, I learned valuable lessons about how you lie to save everything. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Chris, I sh I, you're right, because I showed that it to Chris a few years ago. She never seen it. About lying. And she show, I showed her five episodes, and she was like, all he ever does is lie. Andy lies all the time, yeah. and every time he lies, it makes it worse. And he keeps on lying. The show, yeah. the, 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 I know, agree with that. It all, I, it is it all is, about lying. That, watch the Andy Griffith show and kerosene and, pickles. And, analyze it as an entire series about a pathological liar uh, who somehow gets into the. Office. I agree no, that no, it went on too long. Yeah. Now, see, here's the thing. What did we talk about at the beginning of the show? A show that has uh, a show that has m some memorable episodes and some some really great episodes, but as a whole. Not that great. I yeah, but you know, no, there, I can't like, there, you like there. there's a, I'll even give it some credit. Like there's a scene where um, Barney is trying to come up with. He's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll remember anything. Just blah blah blah, and he's like, he's struggling the whole time. I know what you're talking it's about. It's one of the best comedic scenes in history. However, the show, I just you know take for okay. Here's here's a great example. 
shows today, one of the most popular shows today, Breaking Bad. Okay. Gets crapped on for the most part because of the fact that it promotes people crap on Breaking Bad. Well, if if the people that I know who don't watch it say they don't <laughs> watch it, they won't watch it because of the fact that it it gives it glamorizes crystal meth. I've never had anyone I, say that to really? me. Really? Who do you talk to? Yeah, I've, I've had, had several people. Talk I've to never me about had that. anyone say that to me. I've had people say it's not my cup of tea, but I've never had someone say that to me. Well, Nor I'm, how did could they see it that way? I mean, it just did because he got away with doing it. So I don't know. This is just a couple. But spoiler alert. Anyway, he ran more than one episode. He got away with it for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's just the the things that it did. It it, it made out al- it it made alcoholic humorous. You know, with Otis. 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 Yeah, yeah. But you didn't watch it as a kid, did you? I tried to. I didn't like the whole the whole episode where Opie kills the bird. Well, that's a sentimental. Oh, it is one. garbage. It's not garbage. It is garbage. It's, it's oh, just it's more of the sentimental. And there's ones. a sentiment, and there's all that music, the soft music playing, and Andy's like going to talk to him. He's crying. I just couldn't stand it, even as a kid. And I tried. But how about the episode where he's uh, he is is Opie? Is he stealing food or taking extra food? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he actually is. He's taking money. He won't give money to school. There's another one because he's saving up money to buy his girlfriend a coat who can't afford a coat. coat. Because it has that great line, well, you and Aunt B, what are we having for supper, Paul? Well, you and Aunt B are going to have chicken, and man, I don't yeah, remember whether I'll be eating crow. I'll be eating crow. See? It's a, that's memorable. But no, Two out of the three boneheads think you're insane. Hold on. Yeah, but no, you just said Cheers has some memorable moments about the fact where we're Sam yeah, and Sam but there's and more, there's more Diane memorable, slap each there's other. There's more memorable episodes of Andy Griffith than me- there are Cheers. The mo- Barney, yeah, Barney yeah, buying a motorcycle. Anything with the Citizens Darlings. Arrest. Citizens Arrest. Anything with the Darlings. Anything with the Dar- um, um Anything with Ernest Bass. Ernest it actually Bass. did some weird... I mean, it's not a great example. But a Barney buying a car. Barney buying a car. Yes, I, I'll mm. never forget the wheel slowly coming up. The wheel, yep, 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 yep. Um, okay, uh, so when, yeah, there's when, memorable uh, episodes, but there's also a lot of bad episodes in that there's show. There's a lot of bad episodes of a lot of stuff. I don't Just, think Andy Griffith's overrated. It's right up there with Cheers, though, in mm. terms of being overrated. Because... They had a whole slew of great characters. There's no argument there. Otis, Floyd the Barber. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember the one where Floyd and Barney go fishing and the three women have broken out of prison, of the women's prison, and take oh, them no, hostage? I don't, I don't remember oh, that's that a good one. It was on the other day. You, I, see, Gomer, I still watch it. Gomer, I, don't, I, I never found him funny. Well, not in the other one, but yes, he's funny. Remember the time he has to watch the jail and reassembles the car in the jail, jail. because he can't go outside the yeah. Yeah, and that's funny. It it was to me. It is to me. Yes, I I I will defend Andy Griffith. But yeah. you yeah, love it. And also, I mean, you had a constant sex symbol in Aunt B. Mm. Uh, Remember the denture cream thing earlier? Oh my God. Why did I bring it back to that? I can smell it in my memories. Episode, every episode ended in a nice little package. Everything was okay. But that's true of every freaking sitcom. Yeah, I was say, well, and, yeah uh, and most sitcoms are crap. Of, I agree. It's true of almost every episode, though. And I'm not saying this is a terrible show. Please, people that love this show, don't come for me in my slumber. But every episode of, uh, of uh, crap, uh, Murder, She Wrote. Ends with a freeze frame of her showing her dentures. Again, See, Murder, She Wrote is not something I could defend Yeah, you either, can't but, defend Murder, She Wrote. But that's just, like just not defend, my cup of tea. Just like you can't defend Matlock. Yeah, he solved the murder every time. You know, time. though, as a kid, I probably enjoyed Matlock. I, I just enjoyed not my Mat- cup of tea. He loved hot dogs. I enjoyed Matlock <laughs> as a kid, too, but I've watched it lately. Ugh. Like, the fa- no. one, of my fa- one of my favorite episodes of Matlock was the prison episode where he goes into the prison... And Tiny Lister's and one of the I don't remember <laughs> Tiny this. Lister's his bodyguard. I don't remember. My this. dad's dream was always to do an epi- have an episode where like diagnosis murder and oh. murder she wrote and Father Matt Dowling Locke. and uh, like, all of them were in town because he goes the entire town would just drop dead because wherever those people show and up the, everybody just which, dies. Which is the one with the dad from uh, the dad from Happy Days where he was a priest? Yeah, that's Father Dowling. That is Father Dowling. Father yeah. Dowling's mystery. Which by the way, Happy Days. That's a crap show, but we're <laughs> but actually, I'm gonna, I, honestly, I'm gonna, I was that one up. That was going to be my next one. Is that oh, yes. your next one? Mm-hmm. Go well, ahead, look, bring go. it up because I, I still Andy Griffith overrated is not happy overrated. Days. Overrated. Happy Days is overrated. Happy Andy Days Griffith is way overrated. <laughs> happy Days is overrated, and Happy Days mm-hmm. exists. Solely. There's so many fifty-year-old white men going to be pissed. Yeah, I mean, they're so already no. pissed. Yeah. That somebody took their country, so I hear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but they're going to be even more pissed that we took their guns and their happy days. 
Well, no, either Andy I Griffith. Say, I, I'm, I'm not with him on Andy Griffith. So I'm remember, not either. The guy I'm that glad hates, everybody agrees with Tony. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> the guy that hates guns also hates Andy Griffith. Griffith. Then, <laughs> and is, fireworks, which, and concerts, and fun, and America. <laughs> <laughs> so, just remember that when you're coming for one of us at the con, yeah. I bruise like a peach. And um, we love Andy Griffith. And I love Andy Griffith. Overrated. Don't um, forget about... <laughs> Hold on, hold on, I gotta laugh. But I can't believe we're having to follow up one thing that started Ron. Don't Howard forget, don't thing. forget about fabrics that's covered in blue, red, and white. They clash. <laughs> <laughs> they just can't hold get it along. Hold on, hold on. What an awful color scheme. <laughs> Let me go out and make this work. Chad, how do you feel about North Korea? Woo! What a good place to visit. God, I wish I, I, wish I could be there today. Pack me up some jerky and some trail mix and send me on the way. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, anyway, no. Uh, maybe he does hate Ron Howard. But yeah, maybe going. it's Ron Howard. Because Happy Days, the problem with Happy Days. A lot Days, of his movies lately haven't been that um, great. Is, you ever, is it The Missing with Tommy Lee Jones? Yeah, yes. God. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Keep going. A three minute still shot of a tree. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. Um, <laughs> Keep going. Anyway. Um, happy Days. Happy Days. One, two, three. Yeah. Four o'clock, five o'clock rock. No. Or when they actually did the, yeah, the, the original. Well, I know. Happy Happy Days. Happy Days. Oh, that's right. Um, Sorry. The problem with Happy Days. Um, Wednesday, is... Thursday, drinking days. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, heroin <laughs> days. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> <laughs> something something all the way for you. you. Anyway. Um, Sunday, got the shades. It gave us Mork and Mindy. But outside yeah. of that. Outside gave us Jonathan Winters as a giant. Also baby. gave us Laverne and Shirley, right? Yeah, Laverne and Shirley. It also gave us another. And that's what I would argue is Happy Days exists as pure nostalgia for the fifties, and I think and it's it, kind of a rip off. And I'm going to go ahead and say because I watched it this morning and I hadn't seen it in a long time. It is very much a rip off of American Graffiti. Absolutely. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought that was a given. Well, yeah, but we don't. Don't you think we need to mention it? No. But Henry Winkler. <laughs> For those listening on iTunes, you should have been able to hear me roll my eyes at By that way, moment. By the way, you should get some Vaseline. 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 No, no, straight up put some petroleum jelly on your eyeballs. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, no, uh, it, it's pure nostalgia. Teacher wax. <laughs> it is. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> depending on how, how much he enunciates wax, wax. it go either way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. Minty wax with the wind doodle bar. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go into a So season. Happy Days ripped happy off days. Ron Howard's American <laughs> Classic. <laughs> George Lucas, yeah. George um, Lucas, but, but Ron no. Howard was in it. Yeah, Ron Howard. People driving down a road uh, back no. and forth. Um, it's, it's an anthropological study. <laughs> <laughs> this show, by the way, look it up. Study. That's exactly what George uh, Lucas said it was. Oh, I know, no. But no. I, I, I think, though, that. Like I said, Happy Days is one of those things. I mean, I grew up loving the Fonz as much as the next person that's sold that 4,000 times in reruns. But outside, I didn't even like the Fonz as a kid. Outside of the Fonz. Like outside of the Fonz like and Henry his Winkler. jukebox love. Um, I I didn't care. I don't care about Potsy. I hope Potsy had a life filled with the Vietnam War. I don't know. what Potsy show was or funny? Ralph the Mouth? I don't give a shit about I, any of those people. I, I, I don't even think the show Chachi, was funny. Chachi, Chachi, did anybody care about Oh, Chachi, Chachi loves Joni or Joni. Joni, Joni, Joni had an affair and off. then got an STD from Chachi. Yeah. But he didn't give a damn about that either. And, and, and then he and goes then and he... supports Trump. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And she died. Yeah. Yeah. Coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, another another sitcom actress written off by God. <laughs> <laughs> You're the world's worst network executive. <laughs> and Joe dies next week. Um, no, I, I I do think the uh, th there's nothing to it though. It's nostalgia. There is nothing. There's it. nothing that makes me really laugh about it. Uh, I can watch it and be like, yeah, the Fonz. I can see it. Cool. Whatever. Uh, the thing that it's added the most to popular culture, though, is the term jump the jump shark. The jump shark, the shark, which he actually jumped the shark in what, season seven? Yeah. Something like that. And they ran four more seasons after yeah, he yeah, jumped the shark. Yeah, yeah, everybody jumped the shark, and then he got camp. No, he jumped the shark, and it kept going. Going and going and going. Yeah, this is going to be one of our... <laughs> Haley, yeah. our wonderful producer, because I'm not allowed to say beautiful anymore, our wonderful producer on the other side is reminding us about her time. So, But yeah, there's nothing to it. So if anybody... So, so far, just keeping score, I have attacked um, Happy Days. Happy Days. 
and I the have Brady. attacked the Brady Bunch. So pretty much, if you love that time frame of, of sitcoms that lasted longer they than suck. they should have. And I've got Little House on the Prairie and Andy Griffith. I can't. I just can't get behind no, that I can't. one. I can't. And you, so you got Cheers, and what's your th- second one? I'm going. This is going to piss off a lot of our fans. More am, so than the Andy Griffith. Yeah, I, I think. Well, our fans. Okay. Because our fans are are great, but some of them are have some like some cult classics, and I think Twin Peaks is overrated. You ain't gonna get an argument from me on that one. I'm gonna say, did the internet like, just break? I I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Miranda's out there crying. Are you screaming. giving me another? Did you I just do this so I can talk more about David Lynch? I don't, no, no, I don't but know. No, no. It hit she's... me today. Okay, it hit me today. I'm sorry. Go ahead and finish. I don't know if she's crying so much as going. Huh, I never thought Joe <laughs> made sense anyway. <laughs> well, and, and here's the. I, and once again, I have pulled two that I like, all right? Mm-hmm. I like Cheers. I like Twin Peaks. However, Twin Peaks is a tad overrated. Yes, it, I think it owes more to just being a cultural ph- phenomenon. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. It was a, a guy made it. It was actually created by him and uh, Mark Frost. I had to look it Fantastic up. Fantastic Four's Mark Frost. <laughs> well, he also wrote for Hill Street Blues, oddly yeah. enough. And how the show came about, do you all know this? I do not. I had to look it up. There was some exec that kind of got to know him and they and, and David Lynch, and they brought him in, and they became pals or whatever, and he wanted them to do a movie about Marilyn Monroe. And David Lynch was kind of interested, but he wasn't really interested in doing a movie about something that actually happened. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just not his thing. The director of The Elephant Man. Look it up. Okay. According to what I found, he wasn't interested. The director of the straight story. Well, and, and the Elephant Man, the movie, doesn't actually. I n- Chad, history. go look it up. This is what I found. That he wasn't interested in doing a movie about something that actually happened. However, he was interested in the time period, so they wrote another script about something else, and no one liked it. And then this other person came in and said, you know what you should do? is take your idea for Blue Velvet and just do a series about America through that kind of lens, right? Okay. Through that viewpoint of your viewpoint of what America is. And they decided to set it in the Northwest and yada, yada, yada. And that became Twin Peaks. And Twin Peaks almost didn't make it to the air because they liked the pilot, but they were like, well, it's not going to last. Should we just do seven episodes? That's the reason why. And then it was like, well, we can just do it as a mini series, and it can be seven. And but they finally got it out and made it, and people <coughs> fell in love with it. Yeah. The problem is with Twin Peaks, in my opinion, as much as I like it, but it's overrated, and here's why. During the second season of Twin Peaks, David Lynch was not as involved as he was before. He'd done a movie called Wild at Heart. Wild at Heart won the Palm Door at the Cannes Film Festival. It's not one of my favorites. My favorite David Lynch film is usually a toss-up between Blue Velvet and Elephant Man. Blue no. Velvet usually wins out because it's the most lynchiest. Uh, now, now Man. Wild at Heart, that's not the one about the lady that jumps horses off of... No, horses. that's no. Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. <laughs> and I really want to go ahead and put a bullet in the brain pan squish for Wild you Serenity fans. Wild Can't Be Broken. <laughs> right? I pulled that out of left... But am I wrong? Did. No, it is. Well, I I literally was like, I I've never remember. seen it. I've never I seen it either. I couldn't remember the full title. Never seen I, it. I was like, I know David Lynch did make that film, but I'm going to try to bring it up. So there's only 30 episodes. David Lynch went on to do that, was doing that, so we couldn't do his full attention to that. Uh, he started coming back, but the studio or the network really wanted a resolution to Laura Palmer, Palmer, the death of Laura Palmer. And neither Mark Frost nor David Lynch never wanted it resolved. Never wanted it resolved. That was part of it. And it really, if you watch the show, it is a totally different show once it's resolved. Yes. And it is resolved, what, a third or halfway through the second season, correct? right. And that's where it goes to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. And I don't care that you love the show. There's episodes that I like afterwards. Uh, episodes that have. And have you seen the new season? No, I'm going to actually. I just. I'm going to start it this week. Okay, and I, that's my plan too. I am going to start it because, this week, and that's the reason I don't even want to talk about the new season because I know that's not. I know it's not going to change how I feel. Well, I've heard read enough people complaining. About and it. you know, if you're an average list, if you're a regular listener, all five of you, you know, I, <laughs> I don't like David Lynch, and I do like David. I don't Lynch. like David Lynch other than The Elephant Man, and Twin Peaks. However, I didn't know like Twin Peaks until 
four months ago. <laughs> right. Because I just wouldn't watch it because it was David Lynch. And then just, you know, people, these two kept telling me, talking to me about it, and other people in my life told me. So I watched it. And that first season hooked me. Yes. And I'm it like, is a oh great my hook. God, this is amazing. And then after they just decided to waste the whole mystery of Laura Palmer. It didn't even explain it in a good way. No, and they didn't explain it in a good way. And I haven't still made it all the way to the end of the second season because now it's just awful. <laughs> like, there's this whole scene where the guy from Gladiator, the Cuba Gooding Juniors, not the Russell Crowe. <laughs> Really, Jim? <laughs> Those wild really? gladiators can't be broken. broken. And it was, what uh, with their horses up on sky di- or a diving board? Look, we're going to jump off something. <laughs> Poor Cuba Gooding Jr. couldn't box under that illegal boxing ring. Holy he hell, had hell. just go through it. Just go through it. <laughs> Spoiler! Spoiler. <laughs> go back and watch the late, or late 90s Gladiator starring Brian Dennehy, Cuba Gooding Jr., and the guy from Twin Peaks. Anywho. Yes, sir. There's this whole love affair where she, he's like having a, a it, it's awful. And, and, and I can't make much, because I want to go, I want to watch this third, se- this new season, because I keep hearing how amazing it is. I've heard but, the opposite, and I've heard that. Yeah. Right? There's either down the line. Well, that's typical David Lynch. The only good thing about the blessed second part of the, the that season two is, uh, what's his face from, from Dust Till Dawn as the, as the French guy? I can't think of his name. Oh, uh, Parks. Uh, the guy who just died. Yeah, from, from uh, Red State. Yeah, James. Is it James Parks? No, it's Michael. Uh, Michael Park. Michael Parks. Yeah. yeah Parks. Michael Parks, a great character actor. He's the best part of that second part you, of that season. Him that, and Log, lady. And, and I know we got to wrap up, but do you think actually that it's a problem that when things get solved, like I, I was saying, yeah, I was saying about uh, No Country for Old Men and stuff like that. Sometimes when there's no resolution, it's the best resolution. Yeah, and No Country for Old Men. I've never read the book, but I've seen the movie. I know I've been told it's fairly close. <laughs> And I like that it's not resolved. I know that it infuriates people out there. Most most but, Americans want an A, B, C, and they want a resolution but I was about at the say, end. You know, I think it's funny if we look at cases like, I mean, Jack the Ripper's fascinating to me, and it's because if I knew Jack, he's the on Ripper, his phone during the episode. I know. No, I was actually checking. If I knew Jack the Ripper, who Jack the Ripper was, it would probably be less interesting. It would be. I just think it's one of those things where they solved the mystery. They didn't want to do it then. They were pressured into it. And they didn't have an idea, and Lynch came back, and it got weirder. And I, I did find out something that Spielberg was a huge fan. I know a lot of people, and he really wanted to direct one of the episodes, and actually was really keen on directing the first episode of the second season. And David Lynch decided to direct it himself, and then because of Hook, I think he couldn't mm-hmm. commit to do another episode. Hmm. But so there's a lot of fans, and it was yeah. something totally different on at that time. Yeah, Nobody yeah. had ever seen quite anything like it on network television. It was the northern exposure of it. I mean, let's face it, it was 1990? Uh, 91, I think. 1991. Yeah, but, but it, I mean, it, we had just got out of the crap storm that was the 80s television history. Well, I mean, in movies, right? Uh, Tarantino yeah. says that at the 80s is the worst time for film ever yeah. since film has been created. What? Since it was cellular. Yeah, as far as there being any depth. Oh yeah, I yeah. did. You know, to me, yeah. there's some great '80s movies. I I beg yeah. to differ. There's some great movies Not in every decade. Me. Die Hard is one of them. And, 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 and Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. But these are very much '80s films. Well, I was gonna say, and the thing about it is, is but Die Hard as, as is probably the best action film ever made. I would love to go. Uh, and Lethal I don't wanna, Weapon. I, I do That's not a good want one, to but do. I still say Die Hard is the best. I'm not. I'm not arguing that. I'm yeah. saying there's but some. I, from the 80s. You know, talking about '80s and all that. The thing about it is, is he, there was these crap. Not. There was these crap movies about a, a sword that got really the laser sword, and a hairy bear man. Oh my god! I'm going to punch <laughs> you in your <laughs> dick hole. By the way, <laughs> hairy bear man is your next film, <laughs> right? I, I to die. Hairy bear man, <laughs> dick hole. Um, uh, but anyway, no. But Are you I, going somewhere? I, We're what I was about trying TV. to say before he got off on Harry Bear. There was one. some lame guy who wore a leather I'll vest a, and shot a gun. Oh, no, no, no. I'll be an otter <laughs> instead of be your huckleberry. Forget it. I'll, the, the we flip, can do a gay tombstone. So happy oh when that carbonite. God. If you're involved, it's going to be a gay tombstone. Anyway, Wouldn't it be he, awesome? Um, oh, Van <laughs> Kilmer, I'll be your otter. They put him into a rock wall. Now I don't have to hear him talk anymore. Thank God. What I was Shut going up. to say is, I think a lot of these, uh, a lot of the problems with 80 films, 
and I will include some stuff I love in there, is that they're very surface. I mean, Ghostbusters, oh, yeah, absolutely. Ghostbusters doesn't go into, wait a second, why back are to the all future. Bad? By, by the way, way, this yeah. should be a whole other episode. This We're is talking about episode. TV shows. Anyway. Let's, let's, let's finish up on TV shows. Anything else you want to add? We're and, running a little long. Andy Griffith, overrated. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It is. No. Not. Never. Never. Now, man. Now, man. I'm going to need you to calm down. Don Knotts won five Emmys in a row. Yes, brother. and and one one for coming back and just doing a guest star. That's right, just guest star. Yes, in the yes. Game that's how much of a pimp Don Knotts was. He was the love god. Look it up. Braveheart won an Oscar. He's actually in a movie called The Love. Yeah, god. but he didn't win five Oscars. Actually, I have no idea how many Oscars. It would it have been. if 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 uh, Titanic. If Don won Knotts Oscar. would have been in it. Don Knotts have been in it. It'd have been gold, and I would have watched it. And it would <laughs> Don been, Knotts best what work. Are you doing? Don Knotts. <laughs> Don Knotts best work, Three's Company. There, I said it. How Come at me, bro. Dare you. Come at me. I swear to God, you besmirched the ghost of Mr. Chicken one more I time. I watched that with my kids the other day. I watched it with Amelia. It? Amelia was sitting there going, I don't want to watch this. It's an old movie. And I said, it's Scooby-Doo. Watch it. There's, uh, there's not yeah, really ghosts. There's not... And she that was going to be one of the shows I was going to bring up, by the way. Scooby-Doo. She watched it and she loved it. Loved it. She yeah. loved it. So, ghost yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go. Anything else? Watch the ghost <laughs> chicken. Watch the ghost of Mr. Chicken. Scooby Doo is slightly overrated. It. Not slightly. Oh my God. The Flint. We didn't get on the Flintstones, Flintstones. or any of that stuff. Oh, it's, all the deriv- the it's all derivative of the Honeymooners. Yes. Yeah, but 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 and it in sucks. all fairness, if, and I'm gonna steal from the Venture Brothers. And the Jet the, the Jetsons I, was a pretty good junction. The, I'm, I'm gonna steal. <laughs> from... <laughs> I want to steal from the Venture Brothers. Let's face it, Scooby Doo could have went dark quick if, that, yeah. if Scooby would have been killed them all. Yeah. Killed them. That's right. So right. again, Flintstones, Honeymooners, Top Cat, Sergeant Bilko, <laughs> yeah. Top Cat, uh, the, the Jetsons, the Jetsons, Sharky, the Jetsons, Sharky. <laughs> really? I, I didn't want to bring up RKO. All Sharky. right. Look it up, kid. Go check us out on SoundCloud. Go check us out on iTunes. Go check us out on YouTube. Please Rank rate us. us. Right? Yep. Anything else? Am I missing anything? Spidey, so, Spidey, Spidey. this is Joe Lewis. Tater Tot. Yeah, Tater Tot. Spot and James. And James and Haley's behind the camera. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we love seeing you at Scarefest. If you were there, if you didn't show up, then I don't like you anymore. Then don't understand why salt is the key ingredient in pickles. Then show up. Then still review us. Yeah, still review us. Review. Toodles. Review. Thank you so much. We're out of here. Review. Nah. Pickles. All right, are we recording? Yes, and they're oh. on timers. All right. Anyway, I'm Matt. James wearing a James wearing a Harry Potter shirt. What's that got to do with anything? Because Harry Potter sucks. Harry Potter does suck. suck. <laughs> you're right. And I want to do. Hold on. You're right. I'm sure y'all's creation is going to make way more money than Harry Potter. Yeah. <laughs>